Google has released a major upgrade for its AI system called BARD, which now runs on the Palm 2 large language model. The upgrade makes BARD more efficient and comparable to models like GPT-4 according to users on Twitter and Reddit. The waitlist for accessing BARD has been removed, allowing anyone in over 188 areas to experiment with the system and provide feedback for improvement. BARD now supports over 20 programming languages, making it more effective for code generation and debugging. BARD has introduced integrations with platforms like YouTube, Zapier, Adobe, and Google, expanding its functionality and making it more user-friendly. Additionally, it allows users to export outputs to Gmail and Google Docs seamlessly. Google is now heavily focused on artificial intelligence and has developed a chatbot called Google Bard. It aims to rival the well-known AI chatbot ChatGPT. While Google Bard is similar to ChatGPT, Google has invested significantly in this area and has already introduced significant updates to the tool, surpassing ChatGPT's capabilities. So, what is Google Bard? Google Bard is an AI chatbot that resembles ChatGPT and is designed for conversations and generating text. Users can ask BART questions, accept those violating content policies, and it will provide answers. While BART hasn't replaced Google Assistant, it is a more powerful AI assistant. The reason for BART's advanced capabilities is its foundation on Google's Lambda, also known as Language Model for Dialogue Applications, a proprietary large language model. Similar to ChatGPT's underlying model, Lambda has been extensively trained with billions of parameters, allowing it to learn natural language. This enables BARD to respond using remarkably natural and conversational language. Lambda was introduced as a prototype at Google I.O. in 2021 but was not available to the public. However, in response to ChatGPT's launch in late 2022, Google quickly introduced BARD powered by Lambda to compete. The announcement of Google BARD occurred in February 2023. So, is Google BARD available? Google BARD was initially accessible to a limited number of users through a waitlist. However, during Google I.O. 2023, it was announced that BARD had become available to everyone, including individuals in 180 countries and territories worldwide. To enhance its usability, Google has expanded BARD's language support, adding Japanese and Korean, with plans to support up to 40 languages in the near future. Although BARD is still considered an experiment, it is now widely accessible for anyone to use. Here's how to use Google BARD. To use Google BARD, Simply go to bard.google.com and log in with your Google account. Agree to the terms of service, and you will gain access to Bard's interface. The interface is similar to ChatGPT, with a text field where you enter prompts or questions, and Bard generates corresponding answers. Google provides helpful suggestions when you access Bard, offering random ideas to get you started. For example, you might be given a prompt like what's a fast, balanced, vegetarian meal for me to make? It should be high in protein and fiber. Bard will generate a list of meal options, and you can continue the conversation in any direction you prefer. Bard offers features that set it apart from other chatbots. After receiving a response, Bard provides two additional drafts of the same answer. You can view these alternative responses or regenerate new drafts. It's worth noting that regenerating drafts often produces similar results, so editing the prompt or trying a new one might yield better outcomes. All your conversations with BARD are contained in a single scrollable window. Closing the window deletes the conversations, but you can view and delete prompts in the BARD activities section of the sidebar. Unfortunately, you cannot directly access the actual responses from BARD. However, Google allows you to export the responses to Gmail, Google Docs, or Replit if you're using BARD for coding purposes. You can choose the desired destination for the export by clicking the share icon beneath the response. Lastly, there's a dark mode option available in BARD, which you can activate by toggling the switch in the bottom left corner of the sidebar. So, what is Google BARD used for? Google BARD offers a wide range of applications, making it a versatile tool. With its robust capabilities, BARD is ideal for brainstorming, outlining, and collaboration. Users have found it useful for various writing tasks such as essays, articles, emails, and even creative endeavors like storytelling and poetry. In addition, BARD has become a valuable resource for writing and debugging code. Google advises against treating BARD's text output as a final product. It is recommended to use BARD's generated text as a starting point rather than relying solely on it. Google BARD also has its limitations. 
Unlike ChatGPT, Google Bard has access to a wide range of internet resources, allowing it to reference current events and include contemporary context in its responses. However, it's important to note that not all information provided by Bard is guaranteed to be completely accurate. Google acknowledges that Bard can generate erroneous or misleading responses, sometimes referred to as hallucinations. During its initial presentation on February 6, 2023, Google Bard encountered an error when responding to a question about the recent discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope. It mistakenly claimed to be the first to capture an image of an exoplanet outside our solar system, despite the fact that such an achievement had occurred years earlier. This inaccurate information displayed by Google Bard received significant criticism, leading to comparisons with certain weaknesses observed in ChatGPT. As a result, Google's stock price experienced a decline. One major limitation of Bard is its inability to save chat conversations. While you can export them, once you close the window, the chats are permanently lost. So is Google Bard better than ChatGPT? Google Bard and ChatGPT are both chatbot models that use natural language processing and machine learning techniques, but they have distinct features. ChatGPT primarily relies on pre-2021 data, while Google Bard has the ability to incorporate current information and search the internet in real time. Bard's direct connection to the internet gives it an advantage over ChatGPT, allowing users to click the Google it button for related searches. ChatGPT excels in conversational questions and answers, particularly in creative tasks. It has been recognized for its potential to provide responses to a wide range of questions using natural language. There were allegations that Bard was trained using unauthorized ChatGPT data, but Google has denied these claims. CEO Sundar Pichai mentioned that Bard would receive updates to compete with ChatGPT, comparing it to a souped-up Civic. The actual performance of these updates is yet to be seen. One notable difference is that ChatGPT offers a built-in feature to save and organize chats under conversations in the sidebar. In contrast, Bard allows exporting of chats but lacks a dedicated built-in saving feature. While Bard's drafts function is useful, for long-term usability, ChatGPT is currently considered the superior choice. Google plans to introduce text-to-image creation directly into Bard, similar to Microsoft's Bing Chat. To achieve this, Google will collaborate with Adobe, leveraging their text-to-image generative tool called Firefly. Firefly is already integrated into various creative applications from Adobe, starting with Adobe Express. It utilizes Adobe's stock image library for training, addressing concerns related to image accreditation. Currently, text-to-image generation is not available in BART. However, it was announced during Google I.O. 2023 that this feature will be introduced in the coming weeks. Along with text-to-image generation, BARD will also incorporate images from Google Search and the Knowledge Graph into its responses. And that's a brief overview of Google's new AI chatbot BARD which concludes today's video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below your thoughts and opinions. Do you guys think BARD can or will eventually overtake ChatGPT? Turn your notifications on and stay tuned for more content from AI Nexus.